Hi guys, welcome back to Model Image. First of all, let me apologize for no video last week. I had a bit of a technical difficulties where I needed to reshoot the intro and outro and a few of the try-on sections. If this is your first time visiting this channel, hi, my name is Roche. I'm a lover of fashion, the business of fashion, and also a little obsessed with vintage. This week, I wanted to just do a fun video about face shapes and choosing the right sunglasses. Right now, it's 106 degrees today. If I look like I'm melting, that's why. So if you're looking for sunglasses and you're not sure which one to get, then hopefully this will be able to be a little guide for you and help you choose the right sunglasses for the shape of your face. Now there are several different types of face shapes. I'm going to stick to four main face shapes and that's square, round, heart, and oval. The reason I'm sticking to four is shapes like triangle and diamond are very similar to the heart shape and it's hard to detect sometimes in people. But I think by using the rules of the heart shape, it will still apply for diamond and um, triangular face shape if you believe that's what your shape is. Also when it comes to oval, you've seen long or oblong. Um, and I think the styles for oval may also suit the styles for long and oblong. Now before I go into the video, please don't forget to subscribe, I'd love for you to join the family. Also, if you did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to be notified of future videos, you can also hit the bell and you'll be able to know each time I upload a video. So first up, we have the square face shape. Now this is identified by very chiseled features. So you'd have a squarer jawline, which is one of the most prominent features of a square face shape. Now, if your face is a squared shape, it is suggested that you go for round sunglasses. I have a few here that I'll be able to try on just to show you the style and give you some ideas on round sunglasses. First up, we have our Ray-Bans. Now, this is a quintessential round sunglasses it fits so many people and so if you have a square face shape i'm sure this ray-ban will be a good addition to your accessories a similar style and a little more oversized are these givenchy round sunglasses and now similarly they have like a square top and it comes around the good thing with this for a square shape is by having it go a little past your cheekbone it's helping to create that balance and softness off your face and so I love these Givenchy's these I have in like a bronzy mirrored lens and I just love these for the summer so if you're looking for a nice round and you wanted something a little more oversized than the Ray-Bans then this is also a good option if you like something with a little more of an edge these are Carreras they have the really statement high bar right here and this kind of gives me that like 90s Wayne's World kind of look <laughs> but it's such a nice flattering shape and is very similar to the Ray-Bans with a little of a, a punch. It's a little more flat at the top and comes around and just really softens the face so this would be a really nice one for the square face shape. If you are going for a cat eye it's suggested for to go for more of a rounded cat eye. Now one of the most rounded cat eyes that I have are these by Bottega Veneta. So we still have quite a bit of a structure here, but the rounded cat eyes makes it a little more softer of a cat eye for the square face. And the thickness of the frames aren't as thick to add to the harshness of a square face shape. I have these brown Versace cat eyes. This is also more of a rounded cat eye, so it's not too sharp or too harsh that is going to really contrast with a square face shape. So if you're looking for cat eyes as a square face shape, it's suggested to go with something softer and more of a rounded cat eye. For the round face shape, you can literally see it form a circle. It's all in this little ball of a face. <laughs> for round face shapes, square sunglasses help to chisel up a softer round face. So you're looking for bold, square, um, or rectangular sunglasses. Or if you're looking for cat eye as well, you're looking more for like the square, squarer type of cat eyes. I'll show you what I mean. Everyone remembers the square Celine's. These are quite a few years old, but for a rounder face, this is like really chiseled and is said will add a little more definition to your face. If you don't want to go so thick of a frame, 
There are other like square um, wire lens. These are from Fendi. I wore these in a previous video. If you haven't seen it, that's my, you know, jeans, shorts looks. And so I did wear this um, quite a few times. These are easy throw on and go. I think they go with any everything. So if you have a rounder face, these nice square wire frames are really nice. This type of shape, many different designers carry them. You don't have to necessarily get a Fendi. So this is definitely something that you can look out for to, you know, chisel up <laughs> your nice, soft, round face. You can even go with something more rectangular like this. This is just a batik um, type frames that I just grabbed. I wanted to see if this style fits me. But for a rounder face, this also helps to like create that kind of dynamic <laughs> to your softness of your face. So you can look out for these type of frames as well for a rounder face shape. You can even go a little more dramatic. These are by Dolce & Gabbana. These are like a vintage version, but the square is a little more softened, but it's still a nice square shape for a round face shape. And these are my Dolce & Gabbanas. If you wanted to go cat eye, it's suggested that you go with more of a square style cat eye. And these are, these are, I believe they were Celine dupes. These are just a boutique um, pair that I grabbed just to try the style. But this is the idea behind having square cat eye. So it still has a cat style, but it's more of a chiseled look, which will balance out a rounder face shape. Now for the heart face shape, it's suggested to go with more wayfarer type sunglasses as well as aviators. These are just a regular low cost pair, but the structure of it will also balance the shape of your face. For the heart face shape, you also have a wider forehead and a narrower chin. By having square frames, it will help to create a balance and bring the eyes up. So it's suggested to wear a square wayfarer style sunglasses to bring that balance to your face. It said that aviators are very flattering for heart face shape. Dior classic aviators. I also have a brown version. These are Chloe's. If you wanna have a little more fun with your aviators. The final face shape is the oval face shape, which is a face shape that I have. Now, if you have an oval face shape, they're saying this is the most versatile of face shapes and you can practically go with any of these sunglasses so if you if you have an oval face shape and you want to go wild with your cat eye one of my cat eyes that i really like is this one by versace this is a rounded cat eye but it's very cat and so this is one that i pick out when i want a little drama another cat eye i had because they're like you know you can go wild i did and so these are like a milky leopard print and these are from Leia. She's an influencer that has um, like a jewelry and sunglasses line. And so I picked these up from her, but I just love the tone with my complexion, especially when I'm wearing lighter, like beiges and tans. I tend to go for this cat eye. So this is another option. Outside of the round and the squares that the oval face can go for, they say go all hog in your oversized for instance, if you're oval and you have a longer or an oblong face, oversized sunglasses are really your jam. Some of the oversized sunglasses I have are these, the Dior 30 Montan. I also have a Dior Aviator in the oversized. So for the oval face shape, especially if you have a longer oblong face shape and you wanted to do an aviator, you can also go overboard by getting an oversized aviator and that especially if you have a longer face which is you know for the oval and the oblongs and the longer face shapes it will help to balance because you have a lot more space than for instance a round face or on any of the shorter face structures you really have that distance to play up with an oversized sunglasses and it won't swallow your face up so you have the scope to really go head first for an oversized sunglasses. These are by Prada and these are, you know, more of a dynamic round cat eye. <laughs> the final oversized sunglasses I wanted to share were these Celine's. These Celine's are also really nice, oversized and really balances out the length of 
your face. Square glasses aren't off limits as well. So if you wanted to go oversized in more of a boxy shape, I have these by Chloe. And this is just, it's so soft and <laughs> oversized at the same time. And finally for, for the oval face shape, it is suggested that you can go wild with, you know, more geometric shapes. And so one I have here is this geometric type cat eye by Dior. These are also ones that I love wearing. It's a toss between the cat eye and a funky aviator. The problem with these lens is don't get your finger on it because it's a disaster. <laughs> Another one for geometric shape. I've had these for years and this is, what is this? Octagonal type sunglasses. And so you can really go crazy with shapes when you have an oval face shape because this is also one of them that I love to throw on and go. Similarly with the mirrored lens, I have these by Dior. They're not exactly round. They're not exactly square. They're just a really funky shape. These are also really quite flattering. <laughs> So guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Those are a few pairs of my designer and other sunglasses that I wear right through the year. I have very sensitive eyes, so I'm in sunglasses all the time. And so do you know what shape your face is? Let me know in the comment section if you know what type of face shape do you have. Like I said, mine is oval, luckily because I like sunglasses and now I know I can wear all of them. <laughs> so thanks so much again for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and join the family and I'll see you guys in the next one.